There he is. There he is. I thought that was a croaker. <laughs> Another nice flounder. I don't know how good he's hooked, but we're going to try and eat him. <laughs> but the wind is just blowing so hard out there. Can't really go where I want to go. So I'm just going to kind of work along this bank. Seems like there's a couple other people with the same thing in mind here. Not really wanting to go out there and get beat. Got plenty of taps, little trash fish eating on my, my fish bites curly tail here. Whenever you feel them taps, just do 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 do. Don't you don't want to set the hook because you'll risk uh, breaking the tail off your lure like that. Just a slow pull away from them usually deters them. But it's an extremely high tide right now, so my thinking is them flounder is going to be pushed up real uh, real tight to the bank there. So we're just going to be working this working this lure parallel with the bank, cover as much of the strike zone as possible. And it's pretty much just a waiting game until we finally get on some. I'm trying to make something out of nothing here. That was a good bump. There he is. What is that? Oh, it's a big flatty. Oh, right there at the boat, y'all. Right there at the boat. Is he hooked good? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just got through saying we're going to make something out of nothing. And there's a nice flatty right there. Right at the boat. Heck yes. That's what I'm talking about. That is good to see. Y'all, I'm loving these uh, Fish Bites Fight Club lures here. Extremely tough, and they obviously catch fish. 16 and a half inches right there. Beautiful fish. I'll tell you what, y'all. This right here with the weather is a huge confidence booster. We've only been fishing about five minutes right now, and uh, stuck this flatty right here at the boat, so we're gonna continue working this bank. Hopefully land a couple more of these jokers right here. So we're gonna continue making a few casts right here. I'm sure it's not just one. It's usually not anyways. But there's a gradual slope along this bank here and that's kind of what I'm targeting. Giving it a few little bumps every now and then. But this lure's got so much action as it is. You really don't have to. You can just slowly reel it. Make sure you're uh, maintaining contact with the bottom. Now that I know there's some good fish here, we're gonna thoroughly cover this bank a little more. All right, Coker's finally bit the tail off that last one. So we're gonna go with the white. I think this is the white knuckle color. Same thing, fish bites. See if they want a different color. They're obviously here. Oh yeah, that looks good in that stained water. Had a lot of rain here lately. We've got a nice mix of fresh and salt water here in this bayou. Doesn't seem to affect the flounder as much as like trout. They usually are in here when we get a lot of fresh water. There he is. There he is. I thought that was a croaker. <laughs> Another nice flounder. I don't know how good he's hooked, but we're gonna try and eat him. <laughs> Got him. Heck yes. <laughs> Heck yeah. About the same size right there. Yep. 16, almost 16 inches right there. Good legal size flounder. All right, y'all. Number two right there. About 15 minutes of fishing. We might get us a limit here. We may have figured something out. We're gonna stick them in the live well right there. I might have to change my fish bites out. They've been uh, working on them pretty good. That's after about a dozen croakers chewing on them. Holding out pretty good though. I think we got a few more casts left in it. Oh, that's a flounder. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. 
Number three, same spot. Same spot. You, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I love it. That was literally the next cast, y'all. <laughs> this is blowing my mind right here. Did not think we were going to be on any kind of serious action like this. But I'm extremely happy. Extremely happy. Let's see what this guy measured. It's probably 16. Yep, 16 inches on the dot. Get him in the live Wellington there. Well, y'all, we are back at the house now. I'm a little upset right now because I got to looking at some of the footage. The audio isn't working for like half the uh, day and I was out there for about two hours. And of course, it was one of the best flounder bites I've ever been on. I actually ended up catching 12 flounder. I kept five, so we're gonna get to cleaning one. You know, it is what it is. Been having some audio problems lately, but here's the ice chest right here. I went ahead and soaked them in a salt water ice bath. Biggest one I think was like 17 inches or so. I went ahead and bled these flounder out. That way their meat's gonna be nice and white. We're gonna be using the seven inch sword fillet knife right here. If y'all are interested in picking up one of these knives, I'll have a link in the description below. High quality, very sharp, and lifetime warranty on these. So we're gonna get to cleaning one of these flounder and we're gonna take them back to, I think my parents' house. They're gonna be having a fish fry, so we're gonna fry some flounder up. So we're gonna start with this flounder right here. As you can see, his uh, gill is cut right there. That's just for me bleeding them out. And uh, it definitely makes a difference on the meat. So we're gonna go ahead and make a slice right there. We're gonna come down the middle where his spine is, make one good cut. And this is just the way that I do it. This isn't necessarily the right way. It's just how I was brought up doing it. I'm sure there may be quicker or better, faster ways. But this works for me, and that's what we're gonna do here. But we're just peeling, peeling away, running that knife right down all those bones that he has. And you're gonna end up with something that looks something similar to that right there. We're gonna stick our knife in, make a cut down where the fins are because you're not gonna get much meat off of that stuff right there, but pretty clean uh, fillet job right there. Which we're just gonna do the same thing on this other side. Let our knife just kind of glide along those bones. We'll really be careful not to uh, go all the way through because it, it is pretty easy if you have a sharp knife. Also usually wear a glove too, just to really help hold these fish because they're pretty slimy. But there we go. That is the other half of the filet. No meat wasted right there. I am gonna get the other side. You just do the same thing on the white side. Sometimes it's easier to do the white side first. And then once we get that filet, we're just gonna get that knife started in the meat, hold that piece of skin. We're just gonna wiggle that knife back and forth, cutting that meat right off the skin like so. And there we go, y'all. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely no red meat in that filet right there. We're gonna go ahead and clean the other four of these flounder up and we'll see y'all when we get to cooking. Didn't tell them that I was recording, so we got our ball of fish here. We're gonna walk in here and make them cook it for me. Got fish. Hey yep, doing a catch clean cook, but I ain't cooking. Oh, I know this ain't going on YouTube. I'm fixing to go yes, change my. We fixing to go uh, rewind this. Ellie, come here. Come here. Meow. All right, y'all, so while mom is cooking some flounder right now, I want to get y'all's opinion. We've been working on the aluminum boat here lately. Well, he's been doing most of the work, but I did some of the wiring. I want to get y'all's opinion. What do y'all think about the color of this boat? I don't know if y'all can see from the phone. Blue camo. Y'all drop your opinions. 
I'm not I'm not gonna say what I think about it. <laughs> but we got it looking nice on the inside. See the new lights? Yep. Got two more coming. Two more coming. We got two in the front. LEDs. They redid the bow. We got some C deck, new hatch, navigation lights. We did the inside. Nice plexiglass dash there. Got my speakers. Nine inch Garmin. Control motor set up. We just gotta get some, uh, I could have had my hand right there. What? You oh, just it's turned it on. It ain't supposed to be on. Oh, it's on? Oh, this one don't work off the switch. Just waiting on some good weather to go get some flatties. So tell us what technique you're using here. I mean, it's very serious stuff. You gotta get right fried in this flounder, right? It takes 30, how many years? Two years, cause the first five, you burn everything or whatever. So, uh. Bristol, you gonna eat some flounder? Wow, this room is pink. You gonna eat some flounder? I brought you some. What you eating, Bristol? caught them fish. Mom. What kind of fish is it? Flounder. Flounder? Is yeah. that your favorite? Flounder? Yes. Yes. What about croakers? I love croakers. Try the fish. See what, it, see what it tastes like. Okay. Mmm. Get a thumbs up. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. Oh, two thumbs. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, two. It's so good. Oh, look at that right there. Mm. Don't get much better than fresh flounder. Nope. Some nice ketchup. I think uh, I like it better on the skillet though. Black. They're fresh. They're all fresh. Kind of takes away from all the pieces. Hey, 